morning guys welcome back to my channel uh, I know I've been kind of haven't really been posting any videos and let me just take a minute to let me thank the 190 subscribers that, that are following me and to my future subscribers thank you guys for subscribing thank you for liking my videos and commenting on my videos I really appreciate it and I just want to take that time just, just to uh, thank you guys and to all the new uh, subscribers, I appreciate you guys too. And like I said, on that note, let me start off by saying don't also forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment down below if you guys any want more information, you guys want to just talk or any of that. So right now, as you guys can see, I'm not really looking at you guys because right now I'm driving and you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't be driving and uh, recording, but. I got a station right there. So anyways, so this video, I'm just going to talk about where I've been at. It's not, not going to be a long video, but um, you guys already know from the title, This I'm, I am starting my, uh, I'm starting Chuck in school. And I just want to talk, go into detail about um, what you guys will need to do to get your uh, Class A permit. So I already have my permit and um, First, let me just say, before you guys, I know some schools will even, some schools will probably give you the option of um, getting the permit while going to school or, you know, uh, some some schools would, uh, most schools actually want you to have your permit before you guys can even attend the school, which I highly recommend. So before you guys even start looking into getting into a trucking school, I suggest you guys start getting your uh, class eight permit first. That way, you guys already focused on getting your class A. You guys already got that over with, and you guys don't have to be studying the class A um, written exam and also focusing on checking school because I was trying to do that at some point, and it was just so much that I was just like overworking my brain, and I wasn't focusing on my permit. I was more focusing on what I was learning at school, and that was like throwing me off. So. First, get your Class A permit. That way you guys already get that over with. And uh, um, once I get home, I'm gonna show you guys what app I'm using or what the school that I went to. They recommended me an app. I know there's tons of apps out there, but I'm gonna show you guys the app that I use and literally it's word for word. Now, I know each different state is different. So if you guys live in California, the app that I'm gonna be showing you guys, it's the right app it's it, that's a good app and I think on this app you can even select which state you live in and it'll actually go based off of what state you're at so that's actually a good thing about the app and I know most apps they actually do do that now if the app that you have or you're trying to study off of doesn't have that I would recommend getting an app that you're able to choose um, which state you're um, you live at so um, I'm pretty sure in every state you're gonna need to do your air brakes. You're gonna have to do an air brake written exam, a combination uh, written exam, and then general knowledge. Now I know some, depending on your situation, you might even have to redo your uh, Class C general knowledge test. Luckily for me, I didn't have to do that because if I ha if I I literally went down to go test and I seen the Class C and I literally totally forgot about all the signs and just all that so luckily for me I just had to do my just my my three uh, commercial um, commercial tests and when I mean written exam I mean you're gonna be doing the test now like on a computer I don't think they allow the, the actual paper no more like they did back in the days so um, yeah that's about it guys I mean like I said um, well so I know there's more process of it, so now, now it's now if you're in the boat where you already have your class A permit, now you're now you're deciding on what school should I go to. Now that is honestly on you. I know each school is totally different, and the price range is totally different. Now I know some schools that the school that I'm going to, I paid uh, fifteen hundred. Now, 1500, I was supposed to get my class A within roughly about six weeks, if that's all depending on me. Roughly about six weeks. Six weeks to about 
eight, uh, eight weeks. Now, with this whole COVID, it kind of threw me off and it kind of, my, my time frame was extended. So I started in July and as of next week, I'm going to be taking my uh, class A um, behind the wheel test and uh, I'm, I'm pretty nervous about that one right there. So, yeah, so to the schooling, it, it all depends, man. It, it all depends on what the school is able to provide for you. Now, the school that I'm going, it's just all they're, all they're teaching me is just what I'm going to be the school that I'm going to, they're only teaching me what I need to know to pass my uh, behind the wheel at the DMV. Now, they're not teaching me how to back up into a trailer. They're not teaching me how to, I don't know, uh, if you're trying to do flatbed work, uh, they're not teaching you how to throw straps and tie down a load. You know, they're not teaching you that. I know, and I'm pretty sure there is schools like that. Now, that's what I'm saying. That's where the price, uh, the price range um, is different. And um, my wife, she, on TikTok, she's actually seen a, a school where they have like a virtual um, like a simulator where you're um, like driving a rig, like a, a big semi truck, which I think that's pretty cool. But that's where I'm. That's that's where the price is different. That that that's where you're probably end up maybe paying about roughly about. Don't quote me on this. Maybe two thousand to maybe even forty five hundred, even more. Who knows? But only good thing about that is that those type of trucking schools, they actually, I think, they actually, um, you get a job through them, and that's that's good because not only are you paying so much money, you're actually guaranteed a job if you finish schooling, which is pretty awesome. Now, so that's what I'm saying. It, it all depends on what school, what what you're trying to look for. Now, if if your family is already is already into trucking and they already your family members already have some couple of trucks couple of uh, trailers then you know what there, there there wouldn't be no need for you to go that route of that expensive route of trucking school because all that learning you could learn from your family members from, through a friend and you can just learn all that within the two years now the only hard part is if you're trying to get your own truck you're gonna need insurance. You're gonna need commercial insurance now. Starting off brand new, you just got your license. Insurances are not even gonna look your way. They're not even gonna bother even getting you for an appointment because they would recommend you having minimum two years of commercial behind the wheel commercial driving. Now, that's where a big business, a big company, comes in play. Because big companies, they're actually going off of their insurance. So that's why you're not getting your own insurance. You're going off of their insurance. And depending on where, how much they're paying you, they're probably uh, taking a, a, a little cut from your paycheck to pay off the insurance to their company. So uh, that's what I'm saying. If, if, if you guys already, you guys have already have a family member that's already in, tr uh, that has trucks and they already have like, like maybe about five to 10 plus years of uh, trucking, trucking experience, then that's, that's, that's even better. That way you guys don't have to go that expensive route of uh, just trying to get your class safe. So luckily for me, I do have family that owns trucks and they're, that's all they do right now. That's their, that's their career. They're driving long haul. And uh, hopefully I can both work with my uncle and he's able to pay for my uh, my insurance because I'll be going after his insurance and you know, pay him back or you know, that, that's something where me and him would have to uh, ne negotiate and talk about. Oh, and sorry, like I said, if, if it's kind of loud, I'm kind of, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm driving and trying to talk to you guys and I'm just uh, showing, telling, I'm actually telling you guys where I've been and I know I haven't been posting, but I haven't been posting because I've been trying to get my class A, my commercial license and uh, I've been off of work since uh, April, since the oil fields uh, took a big dump and it's not looking too good for the oil industry. So, well, for me in California. So, um, yeah, guys, that's that's just that's just where I'm at right now. I'm going into trucking school. I test next week. Hopefully, I pass it, which uh, I need to pass. So I can start working with my uncle. And uh, yeah, guys, if you guys have any comments of. Uh, now, I'm not gonna say like I know 
what route to go. Oh, you should go by your own truck. You should go. No, no, no. You know, I'm, I'm just telling you what I'm doing. And, you know, you guys just go based off of what I'm doing and see if it works for you. If it doesn't, then, you know, like I said, you guys got to go your own routes. But this, I'm just telling you guys how I, how to get a class A and to kind of, kind of choose what truck is going to pick <coughs> oh excuse me coronavirus yeah i guess hopefully i, I uh, my next video well i want to do some um some kind of a performance upgrade to the go-karts and hopefully i can probably do that next video maybe sometime this week maybe next week i don't know it all depends if i start working or not so but um but I am going to be doing a video as soon as I get my class A, what um, what I'm doing. So I know buying a truck is, is, is a difficult process only because it is totally different than buying a vehicle. Um, when you go buy a truck, they, they are going to guarantee, they're going to want a down payment. Now, depending on how much that price range of the truck is, they want maybe who knows how much percentage. From what I'm hearing, the guys I'm talking to, uh, my family members and friends, um, they usually they want between five to ten thousand dollars, five thousand to ten thousand dollars down before you can start financing for uh, for a semi truck. So that's why it all depends on where you go, um, if it's used, if it's new, how much miles this truck has. It it all depends, guys. So yeah, guys. So. Um, let me just take another minute to appreciate the subscribers you guys following me and to my future subscribers um, I'm gonna try to start posting more videos kind of do like a little vlog thing you know like vlogging um, maybe you guys might like it maybe you guys don't but like I, like I said like leave a comment down below if you guys want more information leave a comment down below I'll I'll give you guys some kind of advice, and if you guys want to take my advice, cool. If you guys don't, it's, it's it's cool. You know, at least you guys are, at least you guys are asking on what what to do for a class A. <coughs> so yeah, guys. So um, on that note, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below. If you guys want more information? Um, hopefully, I start busting out more videos. Um, I'm I'm trying to take uh, YouTube very 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 serious, guys. I'm trying to. I'm trying to, I'm not trying to make a career out of YouTube, but you know what, if I can get some money out of videos, which that's everyone's goal, to get some money out of videos, then you know what, that'd be nice. You know, extra money doesn't hurt, and extra money in your pocket, that's that, that's always a good thing. So, so that's why um, I, I just want to appreciate you guys on, uh, you guys subscribing to my future subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Um, hopefully I can hit that, uh, that 1,000 benchmark pretty soon. Uh, if I don't, I'm gonna try my hardest to use, to even still post uh, post videos, you know, um, because that because I, I know I go to YouTube to watch videos on how to do things. I'm pretty sure you guys do the same thing too. If you guys are watching this video, or you guys are just watching this video just to see my beautiful face, I know, take it all in. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys. So on that note, guys, like I said, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below if you guys want more information. Hopefully, I post another video about that go kart um, next week. Maybe, hopefully, if I'm not busy, if I don't start working, if this whole coronavirus is gone. Hopefully, I don't know. It all depends. But I, I'm, that's my goal is to uh, bust out a video next week. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. I ended that video. I closed it out. But there's two things I didn't talk about, and I'm gonna talk about them right now. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is when you go to DMV to go and try to do the um, commercial written exams, you actually need to go get a physical done prior before going to DMV. So you need to go get a physical done, a, well actually a DOT physical, that's what I mean. And uh, those, the, I spent 75 bucks on mine. Uh, it might differ from different uh, uh, states depending on where you're at or the type of uh, I don't know the clinic or whatever you're gonna go to to go get tested for the DOT uh, physical, but you need to get that done before you can even uh, go to D DMV. So that's one thing. Actually, you know what? I gotta talk about three things. So that's one thing. So you need that when you go to the DMV. Other thing is now um, 
I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if it's only California, but in California they're asking for a real ID. Maybe that's all of US, I don't know. But uh, they're asking for a, a real ID and you actually need two papers uh, showing your um, current address so you need to take like two maybe a, a bill or something showing that you're at that address so you need two papers two statements or whatever it is that you're going to show them and you need to take that with you um, so that's second and then so that so that's basically it so you need to get that done before you can even go to the DMV so and then the third thing I was going to talk about is the app, which I'm going to talk about that right now and show you guys what app I am using. I know there's a screen recording, but I don't have that right now. So I'm just going to show you guys the app. The app that I'm using is a CDO prep, which that's what it looks like. It's an icon. You can find that on the Google Store or the Mac Store. So CDO prep, and that's what it's going to look like, just like that. So like I said earlier, you guys can pick now you guys see there's a manual so hit that manual and it actually tells you where you're at so let's say what um you just put montana and just put open manual i'm not gonna click it because it's gonna take time for it to uh load up the manual but that's what it looks like and then you guys have your right here, you guys have your general knowledge combinations air brakes hazmat passenger Doubles, triples, tanks, and school buses. Now, <clears throat> the only to get just a regular class A permit, all you need is to study for is a general knowledge, combinations, and air brakes. That's what you need. Those three. So, so you need your general knowledge, combinations, and air brakes. And those are the only three that you will need um, to get just a regular class A uh, permit. Now, you guys can get your hazmat doubles and triples and tinkers now I would suggest actually getting those endorsements because once you pay the fee to uh, do your permit you're actually paying for these tests now and let's say you had to get your um, so let's say you just got your general knowledge combinations air brakes and you go maybe the next month to go do your uh, your behind the wheel <clears throat> DMV test and you get your class A and let's say you want to get your hazmat, doubles, triples, and tankers, maybe next week. Then you'll have to pay another fee to get those um, those three endorsements. When so that that that's how it works. But you guys, once you get your class A, um, no, as soon as you get your permit, you have up to one year, one year to um, get your endorsements. After that one year, you can still get them. The only bad thing is that. You're gonna have to redo the general knowledge combinations, air brakes, and take all those tests again, and that's where it's gonna be pain in the butt. So this is the app that uh, that was literally word for word. It literally showed what it was about on the test, and you know, so you guys, so you guys have a practice mode and an exam mode. So you guys put the ex exam mode, and it'll, it'll tell you how long it took you to. Um, to how long it took you to finish that that exam how many questions and it tells you how many questions you got right out of that I don't know that 50 or whatever so that's what it looks like alright so yeah that's gonna be basically about it for this video I hope this video actually helped you out on getting your um, what you need to do to get your class A uh, permit not, not your class A license because you I mean you don't really don't have to go to trucking school but it helps. Now, like I said, if you have family, they could teach you your way. But if your family member is going to teach you the way of uh, to test and get you ready, kind of know exactly what they're looking for. That's why I look up YouTube videos, uh, look at what their um, the examiners going to want to look for. I know, like people that um, that have been trucking for five to ten years. They don't double clutch and that's what the examiner looks they want you to use that clutch they want you to clutch in clutch out all that and most uh people they just float the gears and that's what my uncle does he just floats the gears focuses on his uh, rpms and he gets it in gear and it looked easy but i went once i tried it and eh, that was pretty hard still so on that note guys i um i hope this this info this video actually helps you out on getting your classic permit you know, don't forget you guys do have to study 
for those just just those three the general knowledge combinations and everything so you guys do have to study um it probably i probably studied for about maybe two days before i went to go on monday to go take my uh written exam so i mean if you guys have a whole week even better but it really just took me uh two days i mean that's just me it might take you longer but just just know you guys have to um you guys really have to study so on that note guys i hope you guys uh like this video hit the subscribe button uh, hit that bell notification and i'll see you guys later peace